So I'm having a little issue today. Well, I guess the last couple of days I noticed that um, there's stuff going on. That cat, this cat right here, a couple of days ago my son said that she was over here. I guess he got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And she was playing with a mouse. She thought it was dead. But it turned out not to be dead. And then, uh, she's playing with it, and then she kind of let it go, and it ran under the table. That was like two or three days ago. And then, now I've been noticing some peculiar things going on over here. I planted corn in here, and there's this little spot here where something's been digging, and corn's been eaten. It's like half-eaten little kernels. And, uh, you know, these little seedlings that I planted, I planted some tomatoes and peppers, and, uh, see right there, it's been nibbled, the little green tops have been nibbled, and, um, over here also, like right here, something's been digging there. And, uh, you know, all of these tomato plants, all the tops have been nibbled away. For some reason, they haven't eaten the, the peppers, which is probably a good thing, I guess. And over here, I have some ginger that I planted in with this other, this Norfolk Island pine. But, uh, somebody's been digging a, a hole here, and it's like, what? <laughs> anyway. I don't know what to do about it. So my husband's like, he's going to get me some traps. In the meantime, I just wanted to show you some updates with, uh, what's all this light? Wow. I don't know why it's so bright. Anyway, there you go. So, um, these are the, uh, African violet leaves that I planted. I don't know, maybe two months ago, and uh, they're getting babies. You see this nice little clump right there, and then this other one has a little green thing happening right there. I if you can kind of see the little green thing. So yeah, I took the leaves off of this plant here, and uh, this is another one. But anyway, this one here... Um, it's, I don't know what's happening. The leaves in the middle are just kind of like coming out burnt, sort of. They're just all atrophied and burnt. And I think the crown is just dying. But in the meantime, it's getting like these little side shoots. Which I guess it's one way for the plant to just perpetuate itself. It's trying to, uh, mitigate its situation, so... Anyway, whatever. That's good. So, there's that. There's some more on the other side. I'll show you in a minute. But, I just wanted to show you. So then, this over here. This one's not doing too well. This is from, um, a leaf. This is a leaf that I bought online through, I want to say, an Etsy seller. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, this leaf broke. It broke, unfortunately, so that's why it's looking all terrible like that. But I'm hoping that there's enough energy in the patio that, uh, if anything's happening down there, because it's very well rooted, that, um, uh, it'll still emerge. This is a little dry. Another duchess. This leaf is just getting, it's just growing. The leaf is just growing. Um... But it hasn't made any babies in all this time. Now, it's, since, it's been since November, since the end of November, and I haven't got any babies. The plant, the leaf is growing like a plant. It's actually growing like maybe a third bigger than when I first got it. So, I don't know what to say about that. Um, I, when I, when I rooted it, I 
you saw. Hang on, let me show you this real quick. This is um a miniature African violet that I bought from the supermarket. It's doing very nicely. The other one's not doing too well. Um oh no, it's doing fine. It's just that the the flowers um got broken and anyway. It's doing okay. It's just, it's just going through a little rest right now, I think. Um, so yeah, the thing about it is that these, these that I, I rooted, um, I rooted these with water, and I put them in soil. I use no rooting hormone, but whereas those, the ones that I purchased, um, hey, Journey, I use rooting hormone. And that seems to have stunted the growth and progress. So these are also leaves that I bought online. So this one here is not looking too happy. It kind of looks like it's looking like it's yellowing. But it might die, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's dying, but it's yellowing, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, all of these are rooted. It's just that they're not making any babies. Like I said, I use rooting hormone with this, and it just seems to have been a real bad decision there. Oh, wow. But they are still alive. This one here is getting a little browning there. That worries me. Um, I mean, they're old leaves now. Like I said, since November... And nothing. I spent a lot of money on these, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway, here's some more um, seeded containers with tomatoes and peppers. Yeah, I, I, actually, these are all peppers, I think. Peppers take a long time to germinate sometimes. Um, and this is one that I've had since last summer. I just uh, pulled it out of another pot and repotted it. So I'm going to take this outside probably today. Maybe not today. It's not going to be too warm today, but it's, it's fairly it's really nice. Meanwhile, my uh, peach tree outside is, do is just really doing very nicely. I've been enjoying it uh, the last couple days. I still have yet to prune that tree, and it's kind of late, but what are you going to do? So, in the meantime, this one's been doing this so, uh, F, I'm sorry, moth orchid, Phalaenopsis, has started to bloom, while the, the Little buds had been growing forever, and finally they opened up this week. Spectacular. I mean, this color is amazing, and look at that. The inside there. It's really cool. And then there's this one here. This one's been in bloom for a while, but uh, the flowers didn't open up fully. As you can kind of see, they're a little bit cupped. They're not really like fully like this. They're supposed to be more flat. For whatever reason, they haven't really opened up properly. They're also supposed to be bigger. Because it bloomed before and it just, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. In the meantime, um, there's this plant here. This African violet that my husband bought for me out of the blue for no particularly good reason. Just because he loves me. It's really pretty. So, <laughs> I'm excited about that. And this here, these are two more um, leaves that I put in here with this plant. This is a croton. It's been kind of just languishing, I think, for like three years. 
I don't know, maybe I should take it out of the spot, because it doesn't seem very happy. I mean, it just, it just keeps chugging away, but it's not, like, getting any bigger. I don't know what to say. Anyway, so like I, like I showed you before, you know, these are some of the leaves that I got from the other plants. And they rooted with no effort whatsoever. And now there's little babies coming, which is very nice. So I'm going to have all these little babies everywhere. I don't know what to do with them. But <laughs> whatever. I mean, I'll figure it out, I guess. Maybe I'll give it away to some people out there. It's going to be a lot of a lot of babies. Because each leaf can make, like, maybe a dozen. It could be more, more or less. Um, anyway, those are pretty healthy leaves, I think. Um, like I said, they're, they, they rooted very quickly and they... They put out babies very quickly, so I expect that they're going to be a good, vigorous variety. So, um, anyway, I don't think I have anything else to say. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it for now. So, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.